What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. We're almost there at the weekend. We got some good weather rolling in here in Kentucky. Nice, hot, and humid out there. Going to be a good weekend. Got a show in Louisville. If you guys are in the area, stop by Saturday. Say hello to the table, as always. I'll be there till probably about 2 or 3 in the afternoon, then I'll be heading home. All right, guys. Yes, they put a video out with uh, PSA and wildcard trading cards to where uh, it's gone viral. I mean, well, I don't want to say viral, but it's all over social media. I mean, from Twitter to Instagram, I've seen it. Facebook, all across different groups. I'm sure TikTok probably has it and everything else by now. And, you know, by looking at a lot of the stuff that I have that I'll show you today, I think we're at the point to where information flow is not good. So all I can say is hopefully PSA will make an announcement like they did with Star Cards. Hey, we're going to be starting to grade Star Cards. They do the same thing with Wild Card Trading Cards. Either they are going to grade them or they're not going to grade them. Because uh, there's just a lot out there and there's conflicting pieces. Not as I show you, you'll understand. As you do recall, like PSA started grading the metal Pokemon cards and they stopped. Uh... It, so there, there can be various reasons out there. And so we get it from the horse's mouth exactly. I would say do your own due diligence onto it. Because you really don't want to wrap up, you know, a lot of time and your money shipping there and back on an item that you can get graded in another company. You know, if you're looking just to, you know, get the AKA quick flip on, make some money or trade with it or whatever it may be. I would even say to the fact, make sure you get something by email from PSA to where you could say, hey, look, you guys said you're grading these. So, uh, you know, I spent money shipping. It's sitting there because then just think about it. If you do economy six to eight weeks, probably to get it back. Uh, July special or economy, probably what, end of the year, beginning of next year. I'm just throwing rough dates out there based off of what they had for criteria. So you could be without a card for a long time frame, then get it back, and it's like, they're not grading, and you're like, you got to be kidding me. I could have mailed this to SGC, had it back by now, or Beckett, or whoever else you guys want to use out there. So, as I was saying, you know, there, there's a lot going on. And when I started tracking the Twitter stuff and the tweets back, I, I started learning a few other things on to here. And you guys will see, maybe... PSA is grading wildcard trading cards, but like I said, you might want to first do due diligence and ensure you have something saying they're grading it. Because as of now, I'm unsure completely on to this. And a lot of this stuff does not really make sense to me. Even though, I, like I said, I was in the Army for a while and I understand the information flow, how it gets all jacked up across the board, especially internally. And then when you go to the next level... It could get even more messed up and everything else. And then, you know, people start talking. Things go every which way out there. And as a collector, you know, you, you want to make sure you ha you're you doing the right stuff out there. You're able to get what you want to get done and accomplished without any hiccups. Because when we have hiccups, we get that sour taste in our mouths. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right. So, let me pull up here. I think I got these pictures in order now. Bear with me. Boom. All right. Good. First picture's right. This is the picture from yesterday, all right? This picture is the one that's been blown apart all across social media with some various other ones you guys see. I'm not going to really touch the other two that are, are with it because it's like screenshots. that it, it just adds to more drama onto it. And I got it, guys. We talked about Panini Baseball. It's not licensed and stuff like that there. I don't know if it means because... You know, with, with what's being said, if it's due to, like, no, there's not a checklist out there. If there's, you know, maybe the cards are easy to duplicate. I have no idea. I don't. For, like, people trying to, you know, fake them and whatever else out there. Because think about Star Cards. There was only one company out there grading them at one time frame. Now we're going to have two. And various other things, you know, things slip through the cracks. I, I, I don't know the reason behind it. So this, like I said, is what was posted across social media every which way, along with the other screenshots. We're just concentrating on this because this is authentic. Um, the guy that opened this box up sent me actually sent me a video of him opening, pulling it out, and showing it. So we do know that this card was returned to him with this sticker onto it. What we didn't know was the fact that 
the original thing onto it was the uh, original post was not done in July, like where all this stuff started. I think around like July 11th or something's when all this stuff started going on with PSA or with guys saying, hey, wild cards not being graded and all this other stuff out there. But if you really go back, the gentleman here actually posted back on May 10th. This right here. Now, I blocked out a name. I don't know if he wants to be known or not. So, but this is the, if you match this serial number up to this right here, it does line up. You just can't really see it on to here because it's kind of blurry. But th this is the same thing right here. Mac Jones Illumination out of five. You know, it just shows that May 10th, that's the only thing I really want to get out of this is when it was posted, okay? This picture's now started getting all kind of momentum in July. We're talking two months later, all right? Oop. So, the gentleman did get an email back with this, or a message back, and I believe this was off of Instagram, Okay. It says they flagged her tweet with their research team to look at the magic. Per our research team, we started recognizing and accepting the wild card sets only a few weeks ago. Which would make sense because his original post this picture would have been May uh, 10th. July, we're just going to use July 11th because I know there's a lot of stuff being said around that time frame and on. If you go back two weeks... We'll just be generous to say end of June, they might have started accepting these, okay? Per what this PSA account is saying off of, um, Insta I believe it's Instagram, and you, I know it, uh, like PSA and certain people would have recognition, notoriety, whatever you want to say, or verified on it, and it's the real people and all that stuff. It's not like a fake account. So, as you can see, the order he's referring to is from two months ago, which is true. It really is because the order would have been about two months previously when they were still not processing them. If you want confirmation your cards are 100% ready to be graded and a thing by PSA, I'll happy, I'm happy to get, uh, get firm confirmation of this so they can be resubmitted, which is great. PSA is like, hey, you can resubmit it and stuff like that, you know, and they are accepting them per this here. I thought about, I went back and read my message that I sent to Nat Turner on Instagram. Maybe he read it real quick, and his answer of yes with his explanation afterwards could be that he thought maybe I meant, are you grading him when I'm saying, are you not grading him? It could just be a simple mishap like that. Or maybe he wasn't really aware of this too, that they're now grading him. I don't know. But this here is saying PSA is great. And that's why I said if you want to get that confirmation where I was talking about beginning of video, I would do that just so you can get your card graded offhand. All right. Now, this was the other weird thing that I pulled up. Pop Count 2021 Wild Card Illumination Autographs. Only one graded. Trevor Lawrence. Gem Mint 10. The only question is I don't know when it was graded. So if one of you sleuths out there know how to be able to tell that, let me know. Because I'm just kind of curious. Was this just done within the last two weeks? Was this done a while back? And then all of a sudden they're like, whoa, whoa, no more grading them like the Pokemon cards or what? But a lot of different stuff. A lot of different information onto this stuff out there. Which, you know... That's that. I want to make sure I had all the pictures. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. But, you know, just like I said, the information flow sometimes is not correct out there. But what I would do is if you're uh, trying to grade a wild card trading card, I'd reach out to them and get that, uh, what do you say, their firm confirmation so that they can be submitted. But they're saying here they only started this two weeks ago, which would make sense. Two weeks from today would have been like right around 4th of July. Um, I don't know when this message was given offhand. It could have been three days ago. We'll just say July 1st they started doing wild card trading or trading cards being graded is the way this would read to me offhand. I personally, just because of the 
uh, lack of information and how they made knowledge to star cards being graded and they're stopping Pokemon. There's nothing been talked about from PSA that they are grading them except for this little message right here. I would reach out to them if you guys are planning on grading the wild card trading cards. Because, like I said, there's stuff all over social media with it. These are the hard facts that I found. Just to make everything super clear out there and everything for everyone that was planned on grading them or sent some in. Your stuff may get great according to this message offhand, but I would just double tap if you have a rep. If you have time to do a phone call out to them and have them call you back and you're able to answer. But I think this is pretty much close to the end all be all with it. It looks like they are grading them as a few weeks ago because I don't think PSA had put it out plus this guy's initials at the bottom here. I I didn't have a chance to, uh, I wanted to call down to PSA today and try to get one of the reps on the line just to ask him for certain onto this, but I didn't really have a chance to do it. But I'm also not grading any of these, so it really wouldn't apply to me as of now. I know a lot of you might be trying to grade them and might not be. But reach out to them, see what they say for you. But just like I said, do your due diligence beforehand because I have not seen a confirmation, you know, from PSA, an email to a big post that's being, you know, hey, look, they're grading them now type deal. Where we've seen it with Star, we've seen them stop grading the Pokemon, uh, Metal cards that came out, and stuff like that there. Alright guys, uh, unless we get some kind of big post onto this uh, from PSA, I probably won't have a further update onto it. Like I said, just please do your own due diligence onto it. I'd probably, if you're planning on sending stuff on, I'd probably try to get that firm confirmation. Just so you have something to back you on. Hey, I, Melody's in, you told me you were going to grade them type deal. Until you see something published onto it. It was just weird I happened to just look on the PSA's uh, pop report and see that one. I don't know if it's been on there for a while. Like I said, it could have been like one of them Pokemon things where they were starting to grade them. Then they stopped, froze it for a minute for some reason. And now all of a sudden, hey, it's good to go again type deal. But really, inter really interesting seeing how all this stuff transpired over the last couple days onto it. I mean, if it was me, I'd... You know, I'd probably use this right here and mail them off and take a chance at it. But other than that, I mean, if it was a big card, I probably would call them. But if it was just a couple small ones I'm mailing off, I probably wouldn't really worry myself on to it. Just send them off and see what happens. But alright guys, if you guys know anything further or if you're getting pop or you're getting your grades popping and a wild card's in there, hey, let me know, let me know. It'd be good to know just so we can keep everybody else informed on to it out there um, information is always good because that way you know we don't uh, end up like I said wasting time and I know the waste of money part isn't really big but you got a mail out there you might have insurance on then whatever it costs to mail back you could be out you know maybe 20 bucks 30 bucks 50 bucks who knows to me it, it's still a loss when you do that plus the time going out there when I could have mailed it somewhere else to be graded all right guys that's all for me. Take care. Have a good one. Catch you guys next video.